What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. Toon Chaos and Rise of the Duelists have brought some heat to the Fire Warrior typing, and that's going to cause some rolling buyouts as people discover combos or look to the OCG for what's happening. Ignite Crusader only has its one printing here in the TCG, and the pendulum scale effects are that you add one Fire Warrior type monster from your deck. This seems to be preferable for its level and ability to normal summon in the worst scenarios, and it is towards 15 freaking dollars. Secret Six Samurai Gimba is also preferable for its level being two, as well as a tuner and a fire warrior stat. Not that it's a six samurai specifically for this situation, and we see it towards three dollars before it's four. Now, I can't speak in the most educated sense that I've looked at these combos and seen how amazing it is. I'm rather uneducated on that, but what I can tell you is that organized play is suspended, and while we've seen a ton of meta buyouts still during this time, since we now don't have any kind of time frame towards where things are going to be played, I will say that if we see price spikes to this point and konami takes note you can see stuff like this perhaps later reprinted so let me know in the comment section down below do you think this is worth it do you think it will actually generate sales rates at a higher point than the eight dollars that seems to have been its market price i haven't kept up with this card in ages personally and do you think that for physical Yu-Gi-Oh, that it's not going to get down in price, down in price, down in price until actual events are made. I think buyouts like this are definitely going to suffer during this time. I think people throwing money at this kind of thing versus already other people starting to question, hey, is Lightning Storm worth it to have right now? I mean, you know, its reprints could start as early as March or next year's battles. When will we actually be out for playing? There are actual valid concerns now at this point when it comes to that. So while the market has been moving crazy during this time, there could be a second round of checks and people even going more ham on the market. I feel like cards like this specifically are the buyouts that you want to avoid. It looks like it had a pretty high price point to even get in the door at the first place. But if you do have locals still going on, you do want to play the game. I understand that certain areas will allow that and that's your choice. Now, the other interesting thing with Fire Warriors that comes up is Immortal Phoenix Gear Free D Collector Rare. Since we do know that events aren't going to be happening right now, and this deck does have the potential to slowly get power crept, we don't know how ban lists are going to work. This is one that becomes more of that conversation. Do you stay away? Or with the upcoming Rise of the Duelist, do you get it now in anticipation that other people will be scrambling for max rarity later? I think that most people max rarity for events rather than just to have it on the side so my personal inclination is ah i'll go ahead and take the ultra rare 20 dollars or less thank you right now but it seems like it's still up in market price right now with not the most motivated sellers in this range but yeah let me know if you guys if you have something like lightning storms or high-end cards that are up for clocks on next year's megatons next year's battles is that a real conversation you're having or are you not worrying about that right now speaking of your daily ghost rare buyout this one had a huge price point to go in at and we see shooting star dragon bought out to 700 dollars over here here. and then like ridiculous on ebay psa 7 i would just crack that back open personally like you need an eight or better and then we see people going in with a, a french one up here i believe that's even a lower psa 4 jesus Christ. okay and then we see a near mint listed at 550 here i know tier zero actually has a psa 8 up on their site for even less you can use code what's good five but my point is these are over inflated graded or not these aren't the best gradings in in the first place people are scrambling for ghosters and even at ridiculous price points doing the double dip buyouts now to be granted star strike blast not the easiest set to get this is anime power goes along with stardust i would really think though that an unlimited ghost stardust is a better long-term hold than a shooting star dragon unless people are just like first ghost keep and they're just buying those out from under each other i think it's getting a bit ridiculous at this point though unchained twins arua saw a buyout for its starlight rare last night and this is kind of funny i've been seeing this deck a lot more in top rated ever since distant coder started playing it he makes it look oh so good but a ton of other people also taking up that mantle and grinding up over a thousand rating 
I don't know though. Like, is this really going to have that much collectability? Will that deck take off at some point? I do like the Unchained. It has it almost all there. A couple more cards could really break it in, but will we ever be getting that? Starlight Rares in general have had their rolling buyouts. We're seeing kind of the, the bottom out of Eternity Code right now, and I do think that the Charmers will be... Oh, actually, there it is. This was available cheaper yesterday. I haven't actually looked through this page that hard. I know that when that was coming back down from the thousand range towards 850 as people actually want to make sales uh i saw that adam corn was one of the sellers here last night and, and his is gone his 850 dollar one is gone your favorite at 850 is the last before it's a thousand again I feel like people will want the Charmers with the Charmer Structure deck coming, and as we creep towards that, especially with this announcement, those are going to go, but the Water one's already going. Uh, Usa being the least popular, the Earth one for some reason, maybe it's looks, I, I don't know, I'm not the biggest Charmer follower, I'm more casual with that, uh, going up towards 360 as well so it has begun it actually has begun here as i have reloaded my tabs from last night but yeah uh, rolling starlight buyouts nothing new but they are continuing uh, if you're a starlight collector sooner than later with the eternity code ones seems to be the theme uh the trap tricks has done nothing but go down slowly over time the dragon made kind of chilling and then you have the water charmer starting to spike and valor still kind of where it's been at and the ghost girl towards 400 Let's talk Legendary Duelist Season 1 a little bit more. Millennium Eyes Restrict boosting up from yesterday, where we saw it was a little bit cheaper than Tier 0. I saw Tier 0 sold out. They did a restock on some cards. They've sold out of all the Crystal Bonds except for one color, which is blue. I think blue and purple were kind of bad choices, so close together. Konami probably should have gone with red for one of those colors, but it is hard to pick out when it comes to these. And then Millennium Eyes Restrict did sell out over here at 10, but is bad in stock so i i do think this will be the top of the set i i do think it's going to settle up there and tons of cards are so cheap right now that i feel like will go up over time just from this is going to be ripped open kind of massly now as people look back where's the rest of the quantity is going to come from i don't think they'll do an unlimited run of a special edition but these do have first edition stamps on them of course if you're going in cheap use that tcg player link in the description down below costing you nothing extra to support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying you, you thought i'd forget the sellout a lot of people have been telling me they want baby tigers and other stuff but the interesting conversation turns to the original legendary duelist uh I, wrong tab sorry by the way gold rare god cards have some interesting spikes as we talked about the original premium gold being a high for its sealed and how the first gold rares always seem to go up well interrupting my previous conversation it looks like Roz had a little bit of a buyout obelisk is starting to spike up etc so the gold god cards here we go again this actually isn't its first buyout but people looking towards the original legendary duelist here are wondering well these prices go down i want the original ultra not everyone has the preference for purple blue or green on the name and they want that good old gold they want the original i think prices will dip a little over time and then mayhap certain ones will respike but we do see price drops on stuff like amazon it's baby tiger as low as six dollars gear free etc with this having coming out it's like the megaton effect except with the megatons they're dipping the price of course that stuff that was way more massed open in the past when it was the same rarity or better rarity and when it comes to these cards like ancient gear fusion it's a rarity upgrade now secrets the highest why isn't the ultra dropping there's just not that many of it to drop like a rock and people aren't as willing to let it go while i think we'll see more quantities start to fill this arena uh people aren't as apt they want to kind of keep their originals or they they've already overpaid and they're like mm, yeah i'm good for now and they're not rushing to sell them they would have done that ahead of time so yeah i i just don't see it necessarily happening for a lot of these cards but some of them will dip as we're already seeing with the original now the sealed legendary duelist ancient millennium will that drop how many seals are there really still out there that are gonna sell toon stuff is rather cheap actually looking at toon kingdom on that previous page versus the 
initial ones here and that's thanks to collector rares whenever you have top heavy things in a set that are readily available other stuff gets to go a little bit lower and for how mass ripped open this set was and continues to go up in price for its first edition boxes i think it was like 119 we saw on stream last night we'll look again maybe here in a second toon page flip uh, versus toon kingdom like toon kingdom has two printings albeit this was a short one and this was in dragons of legend a pretty thick set uh this was down towards five dollars to six dollars initially which drug this down to 18 now look over time will this be getting a reprint besides an unlimited wave in the eu we don't know yet i've actually hit back up people and still radio silence on the usa getting a printing yet so when it comes to this like i feel like this is really cheap as is bookmark and this is stuff people are going to play in the deck staples of a fan favorite deck not a meta deck but casual doesn't mean broke you can just look across here to see what that means and this likely will be reprinted come dragons of legends i would think so the complete set like uh, i i think they'll be doing that but when it comes to this i think these are great investments i know they're not penny stonks but i definitely think at some point they'll be reversing and going up the question is when and will it get cheaper than this let's actually look that up let's look up a toon chaos box it's getting harder to kind of search sealed on here uh a little bit but yeah we see it's towards 116 118 120 something happened last night to where sealed got moved a little bit in the search function toon chaos it's really a crazy set and people are still ripping open packs from walmarts i've never seen so many blisters grabbed and people to get their hands on them so yes the ultra rares right now are in mass but i think over time some of these are great long-term keeps thank you guys for watching today's market watch please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation and i truly do thank you guys for using that tcg player link it supports the channel it costs you nothing extra and i'm going to continue to keep doing giveaways out of that back to you guys i really wish i could give back more and help more people like with the promo codes where it actually gives a percent off but i really appreciate you guys who aren't getting anything directly back out of it using that and i'll keep the cool giveaways coming